Hey guys, this is Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping in 12 Coach Training Program, and in this video I want to talk to you about your power. Because the truth is, you are actually a lot more powerful than you realize you are, and I'm here to tell you that that is true, because a lot of people have a hard time believing that. Now here's the thing, we've all heard a million times that we are not using even like 10% of our brains, right? That our brains have all of this capacity, we don't quite understand how the brain works, and we're only using this fraction of it, I don't know if it's 10% or 5%, but you get the story, right? It's like we've all heard that we're not working toward maximum potential and what would it be like if we were like lighting up like 50% of our brains instead of whatever amount we're using right now? Well, you are, um, your whole energy system and all of your levels of energy and consciousness are very much like that same argument, right? Most people are living their whole lives out of one or two, maybe three, levels of their consciousness, their experience. And so when we look at the chakras, the seven chakras in the chakra system, it's a really nice lens to think about um, seeing holistically all of our levels of consciousness, all of our levels of experience, all of our levels of receiving, of creating, all of the levels at which we can manifest miracles. When we look at all seven, we start to see, wow, I am not actually using all of my power. And what I'm telling you, I see on a daily basis, because I'm always working with coaches um, and people who come from a variety of different backgrounds, and they're experts. They're expert in something, something that they want to bring or do or give. And they are operating very heavily from their amazing, brilliant mind because we have to work and learn and practice and experience things to become more of an expert. So of course our brain is gonna be highly involved. The problem is that when we step into doing the work that we are more passionate about, what I often see is that people are working with like 10% of their power, or let's say a seventh of their power, right? They're mostly going after their goals and their dreams with one chakra, maybe two chakras, and they are the upper chakras. They're not accessing their most powerful place. And that's why I can promise you with 100% certainty that you are not using all of your power, which means you're actually a lot more powerful than you realize. Now, here's the other thing. When we feel like we're doing a lot and giving a lot and the reward isn't showing up yet, whether it was from our past career or the career we're stepping into as a coach or a, or a healer, we 100% are ignoring our most powerful chakra. Especially when we do a lot of training and a lot of learning, it really puts us in that space of overusing our mind to create our passion, to create our dreams. And we actually need all of our energy. You need to be firing on more cylinders. Now, here's the problem, is that most of the personal development work that's out there is really focused on the upper chakras. It's really focused on goal setting and visualizing and intention. Um, and it's not as focused on the lower chakras, which are incredibly important. That's your like energy and motivation and drive and charisma chakras. Those also need to be open if you want to feel yourself like moving forward, making an impact, having people be impacted by you and actually be kind of like memorable. But as we come to the new year and we start using the word miracles, like I've opened to miracles in 2017, now we really have to talk about the lower chakras because everybody has this wrong, oh my goodness. Everyone thinks when they actually know the chakra system that the seventh chakra, which is our connection to the divine and infinite possibility, everybody thinks that the, that's the miracle chakra and it is not. It's a part of the miracle process, but it is not truly the miracle chakra. The miracle chakra is located elsewhere and it's super important. And I'm gonna be doing a whole free healing for you on this, uh, what I call the miracle chakra next week. And so when you open up this chakra and you work around it, which is hard because the miracle chakra is the most difficult chakra to actually do work on. It's 
gonna be hard, I'm not gonna lie. But when you work on this chakra, not only do you open yourself up to receiving miracles in a much bigger way, but you start to access the bigger piece of your power as it's connected to your energy and your enthusiasm and the way you get focused and into action and make things happen. It's a whole different energy into your doing instead of just having your mind and your higher positive intention trying to drive your doing, right? It's like saying, um, I have a little wind-up engine and I'm going to use that wind-up engine to drive a little train around the track, tick, 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 or I can plug in a nuclear powered locomotive and use that to drive the train around the track, right? Which one is more powerful, right? Imagine that you have a nuke that you're sitting on that you're not accessing. Well, that's what we're going to delve into. That is the payoff on working on your most difficult chakra. So I'm gonna be delving into that in a special healing next week. This healing is for everyone who's coming to my Ignite Your Power event. It's part of a, a series of three that I'm doing and I just can't wait to share all that with you. So it's not even announced yet. I'm just letting you know now. I think tomorrow my marketing team is announcing it and you'll be able to opt in and sign up for that tomorrow. There are limited seats just like the last one and they are going to build on each other and I can't wait to share that with you. So your most powerful place that you're, I promise you, you are allowing a trickle through right now when it could be a torrent and when you open that up, you open yourself up to really receiving and actually feeling and being in the miracle vibe, which is so, so important, especially at the beginning of the year. It's a, such a great way to get started. So this is Margaret Lynch, creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program. But you know, for the next couple days or the next week or so, I'm really not talking about coaching skills and training and how to become a coach. I really just want to talk about you and your energy and the healing that you need as a coach or a therapist or a healer like this we're going to take this first couple weeks in January and just look at our own process our own healing our own restoring and do some great work so watch for that tomorrow if you are not subscribed to me make sure you go to margaretmlynch.com and sign up for the newsletter so you'll always hear about my healings and make sure you um, subscribe to my Facebook and my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the other great stuff this is Margaret Lynch and I will see you on the healing next week and I'll see you on the next video Bye.